Hey my loves, I'm back with a new video. Today, I'll be making a pot roast. Okay, so that's my pot roast. I already cleaned it and put it in the pan. But these are the things that I'm going to use to season it and get it all uh, yummy. I don't have beef broth, so I'm still use chicken broth. But you could definitely use chicken broth. I'm going to use some pepperoncini peppers. I'm going to use some Worcestershire sauce. That's right, I said it right, girl. Um, some chopped garlic, some black pepper. Now, black pepper is going to be the only kind of seasoning in my cabinet that I'm going to use because I'm going to use some ajou sauce, gravy, ajou gravy, ajou gravy. And then I'm going to use um, some ranch seasoning and some butter. So that's why I only got the pepper out because... The au jus and the ranch is definitely salty. You won't be using the whole thing. Um, yeah, we definitely won't be using the whole thing at all because, you know, it tends to be a lot of sodium, a lot of salt in it. So, yeah, and then I have an onion that I'm going to cut up in there and all that good stuff. So, um, get ready to cut up my onion. Actually, you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to season it up with um, the ranch seasoning and the au jus and the pepper. And then I will be back and show you exactly how much I'm going to use. Okay, be back, my loves. Okay, my loves, I'm back. So here's my roast. So I'm going to season it up. Get some pepper on there. You're going to season both sides. Make sure you wash your hands before you season your meat, please. Thank you. That would be great. That would be nice. Even when you touch the meat, you know, and you got to go on to the next seasoning. It's going to give your hands a little wet, you know. Give your hands a little wet, a little paper towel, and then move on to the next, okay. We're going to get the ranch. Put the ranch seasoning mix. Open that up. Right. And we're only going to sprinkle just a little um, on each side. Just a little. Okay. And then we're going to turn it over. Right. And just sprinkle a little. Just a little. So you got most, mainly a lot of this left, because you don't want it, like I said, you don't want it, um, you don't want it salty, no, you don't, okay, and you're going to get your au jus, yeah, beef au jus, right, and you're going to sprinkle a little bit more of this in here because this is going to be your your gravy okay but i like to sprinkle it on like <clears throat> in the a lot in the beginning so it can get all juiced up in there and everything okay you're not going to use all of this either okay and then now you're going to Start putting all your other things, um, like your onions and your pepperoncinis and things of that nature. So I'll be back, my loves, and show you that. Okay, I am back, my loves. So I got the minced, uh, the not the minced, but the chopped garlic. I'm going to put that in there next. First, I'm going to cut up my onion. Right? I hope this onion is good because it does not feel... Like it's any good. Oh no, not a rotten onion, please. Let this not be a rotten onion. Oh man, it's a rotten onion. Well, let me see if I have another onion. If not, we're not going to put any onion in there. Nope, not another onion. So we're going to skip this. So, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to get me some um, 
onion powder. Because I was gonna I wasn't gonna put any onion powder. I mean, yeah, any onion powder in there because I had an onion, but now that I don't have an onion, let's put this to the side in the sink. That was gross. Okay, things happen. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of onion powder on it. As you know, onion powder is not salty. So I'm put up some onion powder on that. Let me get a spoon so I can put some of this garlic on. I say about a, kind of a, a teaspoon and a half maybe. I just kind of move that around. Yeah. A little bit more, a little bit more. I like the little, I like it to be garlicky. So, there. So now I'm going to sh uh, come back now with the, um, the pepperoni peppers and the Worcestershire sauce and all that other stuff. So I will be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, so now I have the pepperoni peppers and the Worcestershire sauce. Let me shake that up a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. Uh, not that much. Just kind of put it. On top. There. So, like so, like that. As Miss uh, Tabitha Brown says. That's so like that. I need to get some of her seasonings. So, I'm going to get a um, fork. And I'm going to start putting in some of these pepperoni peppers. You can even put some of the juice in here. The pepperoni peppers because uh oh wait a minute one well, still got a stem on it don't play with me don't play with me with your stems uh -uh. anyway now I don't know about you but I love some pepperoni peppers okay they are so delish yummy and they give a real good taste to a roast okay i'm quite sure you guys who look at um tiktok have seen this but i'm putting a little extra spin on it you know okay so now we got those two in there now we're gonna get i'm gonna get the butter i'm gonna put the butter in there Oh, by the way, turn on your oven. Preheat your oven to 375. We're just going to put the sprigs of butter on there, little thin pads of butter on there, all over. All over the roast. Um, yeah. But we're not skimping here. We're, we're definitely not skimping here. This roast is going to be flavorful. Flavorful. Okay, there. All right. So now we got the butter on there. Now we're going to get the chicken broth. Now, now, as you know, I said I don't have any beef broth. But I am going to use chicken broth instead. And I'm just going to pour that right on in there. Pour it right on in there. Almost to, um, not to cover the rolls. We don't want to cover it. We just want to get that moisture, get that stuff in there. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it real good, but there, like that. And that's all we need to do. And we're going to pop it in the oven. Now, I'm going to pop mine in for two hours and see how tender it is. And then um, just kind of check it and things of that nature. Make sure, you know, it's still got liquid in there and all that stuff. 
So I'm going to put mine in for two hours and I will come back and show you what it looks like in two hours. And if I have to cook some more, um, then I'll tell you that as well. But in the meantime, I will see you in, um, in the next clip. <laughs> How about that? All right, my loves. Okay, my loves, I am back and this is what it's looking like so far. The roast. Um, it's okay, tender, but I think I want to leave it in there for about 30 more minutes. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it in there for about 30 more minutes and then take it out because I think it could be a little bit more tender. As you can see, you see all the gravy that's around it. That's going to be good for some some rice or potatoes or something of that nature. So, yeah, I'm going to put it back in there. And then when it's all done, I'll let you see how tender and juicy it looks. Be back, my loves. Okay, my loves, I am back. And this is what it's looking like. It's very, very tender. As you can see, just falls right off. Well, there's no bone in it, but look at the gravy. Oh, can you, can you get into the gravy? Yes. Mm, mm, mm. This is going to be some good old roast. So, um, I didn't make any potatoes or carrots or anything like that because... Um, I made a salad, a green salad on the side. Quite sure everybody know how to make a green salad. Um, I made some corn on the side. And I'm quite sure everybody know how to, you know, open up a can of corn or some corn on the cob or something of that nature. But, and just uh, open up some Kraft macaroni cheese, fixed it right on up. Um, dialed it up, put extra cheese in it, and seasoned it up, butter, milk, all that good stuff. So, anyway, um, this is it, my love. This is my roast, and this is how I make it. And I will see you in the next video that I make. Don't know what it is yet, but hope that you are subscribed. Um, you comment, you share you like all those good things and why don't you get me to 500 subscribers for the new year all right my loves thank you and have a good night